It's very important when trying to solve for unknown values that you make them based off of one variable. So in the story problem, we have a situation where there are three girls and they want to download a total of 36 songs to their iPods, or yeah, iPods. So Jane downloaded twice as many as Inez. That means Jane's value is based on Inez. So Inez becomes our baseline X value and Jane has twice that many. Then there's Tracy who wants to have more than anybody else, so she downloads one more than what Jane had. So then we have 2x plus 1. So then I can create an equation with all of my unknown values. We have Jane, or we have Inez plus Jane plus Tracy. Now the parenthesis isn't there, isn't a requirement there, but it helps me make sure that I'm including all three different people. First person, second person, third person. The parentheses really aren't adding any impact to the overall answer though. And we know that the total is 36 songs. So we need to start by combining like terms. I have an X, so one, two more, and two more. So I have a total of five X plus one equaling 36. Now we work PEMDAS backwards and so we add or subtract before we worry about multiplying or dividing. So the X term is having to share the left side of the equal sign with the one. So we subtract the one off of both sides, which leaves me with five X equals, oh, sorry, I tried to write the answer, 35. Now, because five is supposed to multiply by X, I have to divide it off of both sides. That clears it off of the left side, leaving me with X, and 35 divided by five is seven. So x, our baseline value, is 7, so I can plug that in to find out what the actual number of songs are for the, the three total girls. So x is 7, Jane is twice that amount, so 2 times 7 is 14, and Tracy is one more than Jane, so that makes 15. Then you can double check 15 plus 14 plus 7, is that 36? Yep, you got your answer. So the next story problem has us starting with a balance of $4,800 and every month $300 is taken out until there's a balance of $1,500. And we need to figure out, well, how long did it take to get there? So we need to set this up as an equation. We start off with $4,800. Then what happens to that? Every month, 300 is taken out. So that's a negative 300 value. And how many times does that happen? Well, however many months it takes, to then have an ending balance of 1500. So this sets up our equation so that we can go ahead and start solving it. Again, I need to isolate the x term. So the 4800 is in the way of the x term being by itself. It has to go. So I subtract it from both sides, which leaves me with negative 300x equals, well, 15, finding the difference between 4,800 and 1,500, though this 4,800 is actually a negative. I'm just setting it up this way to find the difference. Uh, so 0, 0, 3, 3. So $3,300, but that is a needs to be a negative because, again, I had a positive over here. I subtracted the 4,800 from both sides. My negative was larger than my positive, so I have a negative final answer. And now I have a negative 300x equals negative 3300. I divide off the negative 300, divide off the negative 300. This is good because I now have a double negative to cancel the negatives out and leave me with positive. You need a positive amount of time. If you had a negative amount of time, that would be talking about back in the past, and that just doesn't make any sense. So the 300 goes away. I have x equals, and 33 divided by 3 is 11. Those zeros cancel each other out basically in division. So 33 divided by three is 11. So it takes 11 months to reach a balance of $1,500. This last story problem actually has two different possibilities on how you set it up. And it's all based on who is your X, who is your baseline value. It says that Peyton is three years younger than Justin. So that means we have Peyton, Peyton could be X and then Justin, is three years more than that. Then Matt is, let's see, Matt is four times as old as Peyton. So if Peyton is X, Matt gets to be four times that value. 
okay? Or you could set it up where Peyton is three years younger than Justin, which means Justin is the baseline value, and then you have X minus three. Justin's age taking away three years. Then if it says Matt is four times as old as Peyton, we would then need to say four times what Peyton's value is. So it just, Either way is going to get us there, it just one is obviously going to be easier than, than the other. Still sets it up the same. So we have x plus x plus 3 plus 4x equaling a total of 39 because their ages combined to be a total of 39. We combine like terms. I have a 1, a 1, and a 4 as far as the x's go. So that gives me 6x plus 3 equals 39. So that when I take away the 3 from both sides, I have 6x equals 36. So x is going to equal 6 when I divide it off of both, this 6 off of both sides. So then if I'm trying to figure out how old everybody is, Peyton would be 6. Justin is Peyton plus 3, which makes it 9. And then Matt is 4 times Peyton's age, which would then be 24. So then if I check that, 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 plus 9 is 39. So that works out. But we can go ahead and get there using the other method. If I have an x plus x minus 3 plus 4 times x minus 3 equaling 39. We've got to simplify and distribute here. So I have x, and these parentheses aren't adding any value. I know I have 1, 2, 3 people accounted for, so I'm going to go ahead and just dump them. x minus 3, and then I have to distribute the 4 to both terms inside the parentheses. So I have 4x minus 12 equaling 39. I need to combine my x terms and my non-x terms. 1, 2, and 4 makes 6x. And then if I have a negative 3 and a negative 12, that gives me negative 15, equaling 39. Now I deal with my x term last. I need to clear off the negative 15, and I do that by adding it to both sides. Oops, try to make a 4. Uh, 15 plus 15. 9 plus 5 is 14, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. So 6x equals 54. When I divide 6 off of both sides, that leaves me with x equals 9. Now I have Justin's age being 9, Peyton's age being 3 years less than that, which is 6. And then if I plug in 9 for x, 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So we can get there either way. Again, it all just depends on who you choose to be the baseline value.